Welcome back to Coding Drift. Have you ever seen this error in Node.js project that you cannot send headers after they are sent to the client? You might not see any errors in the client side and the API will load fine, but in the server, you will see this error. So in this video, we will see why this error exactly occurs and how to fix it. First, I'll create a Node.js project with Express on it. If you know how to do this, so you can skip to the next section. So I'll create a directory node sample and I will navigate to that directory. So here I'll run npm init hyphen y. This will initialize a node project with default configurations. Once this is done, I'll open this in VS Code. So inside this, I'll create index.js file and as we need express, I'll install it. npm install express. Once that is installed, I'll write some boilerplate code. So here what we are doing is importing express and creating an express app. We have a get route here and we are running in the port 8000. So I'll start the server using NodeMon. The server is started and I'll refresh the page. As you can see, I get the desired response, but in the server, I get this error. As you may have already noticed, we are doing response.send twice here. So you may say this is very obvious. We, we will notice this um, and we'll remove it and we'll, the error will go, which is true, the error goes off, but there are scenarios where you will not notice uh, this multiple response dot sends. So I'll give you an example here. Let's say I have a route uh, with some ID and I get that ID and I check if this ID is matching my requirement. That is, I want the ID to be a number. I don't want uh, any string or any other character in it. So I just check 0 to 9 plus this is the regex to check if there are one or more digits in the ID. So if it is not the case, then I send an error response. I'll say response dot status is 400 and I'll send an error saying invalid ID. And after this, uh, let us say I have a lot of business logic. So once everything is processed, I respond with the data. So let me access it. It's working fine. I don't get any error. Let us say I enter some string. As you can see, I get the desired output here. But the thing is, in the console, we get that error. So how do we avoid this error? So there are two approaches in which we can avoid this error. One is to put an else case here and write the remainder of the code inside the else case. So if you refresh now and I'll clear the console and run it again. And I refresh this page as you can see I don't get the error and another case is so uh, without writing the else case what we can do is we could just return here so the execution flow is done we don't want to execute the remainder of the code so we'll just call return in that case also we will not get that error there is one more scenario where this error will occur let us say you have a async function I will simulate this with a sleep function or this can be anything an API call or DB call or anything so and then after the results are fetched, we are sending the response and we have some other code also. And again, we have response.send here. So in this case, what will happen is, so if I refresh the page, I'll get the response. So after three seconds, the sleep function will finish executing and this response.send will get executed and the server will crash. So if I refresh again, I'll not get any response. So this error can be annoying at some times that your server will crash and you will not know what is really happening. So you need to be careful when using then inside of these handlers. So to solve this, you can use the await async syntax. So you can await for the API calls to finish and you can make it as async. So once the API calls finish, you can process the response and send it in the response. So this will not cause the server to crash. So after three seconds, that means so after your API call is done, you will get the response. So that was how to solve this error in Node.js. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. See you in the next one.